guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do some food prep with Zimmy and I want to take you guys along, chat about how we're doing solids this time around and show you the things I'm making. Zimmy is about seven months, so she's been on solids three to four weeks now and so it's going really well. But I'm doing things a little bit differently to how I did things with Bowie and that's why I wanted to make this video. So firstly, what we're doing differently, this time we're still following like the baby led weaning practice and principles but we're doing mixed feeding. We did zero purees with Bowie, just like strictly baby led weaning with the finger foods. Whereas this time we're doing a little bit of both. Um, I like the idea of starting with some purees cause that way you can just like pack in lots of different foods, which you'll see when I make some purees. I'm starting off pretty simple with those, but then we'll have some finger foods on the side for her so that she's still learning to self feed, self regulate. Um, and then also getting all those benefits of learning to grab things, touch them, feel them, put them in her mouth, chew, etc. Oh, I also am doing things a little bit differently with Zimmy because we are giving her a few different foods. Bowie was basically vegetarian, a little bit of fish, still is. And Zimmy, I'm introducing a couple of different things which I didn't do before. So babies need a good amount of iron from about six months of age, which is why solids are really important from six months, because by that stage, they're no longer able to get their requirements from you. Breast milk doesn't actually contain that much iron, and they actually need as much as a fully grown adult male. So it's quite a lot for a little baby that's obviously not eating much. So this time I'm really trying to concentrate on some high iron foods. Now, obviously, if you're vegetarian, this can be kind of difficult to achieve. So I'm trying her with some other things this time. Firstly, I've got some bone marrow paste, which contains some iron. But one of the most rich sources of iron is actually um, beef or chicken liver. I haven't got any yet, but I am going to get some capsules so that I don't have to physically great up liver myself because that I'm still vegetarian so that the thought of just having to like prep that's a bit icky for me but it is super rich in iron so I do want to give it to Zimmy so I can sneak it in those purees but I have found some capsules where it's basically like powderized so you can just open the capsule and sprinkle some into foods anyway I won't be using that today because I haven't got that yet but I just wanted to mention that because that's something I'm going to incorporate shortly um, we also got these, which I never did anything like this with Bowie, which are iron fortified. And I feel like there's, you know, like some judgment around giving your kids like pre-made foods, but whatever works for you. So we have those which contain iron. This is actually what I give Bowie. Won't be giving it to Zimmy yet, because at the moment I'm gonna try to give her foods like this. Plus I've got some spinach. Um, I need to get some more hemp seeds, because I've just run out, but hemp seeds. Also giving her some wild caught salmon. Um, I've actually a little list of like her foods here that I keep. And then she'll also be having some eggs as well soon. She hasn't tried those yet because they're an allergen. But this is what we give Bowie for iron because he's not a great eater. And <laughs> he's vegetarian, pescatarian. So he doesn't get a lot of iron in his diet. So I do give him this most days. And he is obsessed with it, it's like a treat. What is it? Why is mummy allowed to talk? <laughs> Mummy's allowed to talk because mummy's working, cheeky. So, I have a little notepad where I have listed out just some of the different like important things for, pu this is like my purees like cheat sheet that I made myself. So I've got sources of iron, sources of zinc, because zinc's another important mineral. Um, sources of vitamin C, because vitamin C assists iron to be absorbed, so it's good to pair them together to help you get, maximize the amount you absorb. Um, and so vitamin C is like berries, broccoli, papaya, kiwi, um, pretty much like vibrantly colored things. I've actually got some dragon fruit, super high in vitamin C from the markets, which I'm gonna give to Zimmy this week. Um, fats, which is obviously just like good for you. So I've got avocado, butter, dairy, or egg yolk, and salmon. They're like fat sources that I wanna give her. Um, and then also hemp seeds, which I need to add that to my list and get. Um, Cause hemp seeds are really good, but they're quite like 
dry so I'm gonna add them to purees and stuff and then probiotics which is dairy I have this is I don't know Bowie seed because it's his favorites but we've got this dairy the yogurt which I'm gonna add to some of our purees and then I have these as well so this is a probiotic powder which you can add to milk but I am adding some to her um, purees when we serve it <laughs> And this one is for infants, so zero to 24 months. And they come in little individual sachets, which is really handy. So that is my little cheat sheet. I've also written up here pumpkin sweet potato at the top because that's kind of like something you can add to it to like thicken it and give it some good consistency for purees. Plus, when I'm prepping, I like to prep not only all the individual ingredients for the purees, but I like to make some finger foods as I go as well. And then I remake more finger foods during the week. Just when I'm like in the kitchen cooking, I might just like quickly steam up some more or roast some more vegetables and fruits. So yeah, that's my cheat sheet. And then I usually flip over, which this is the other week. And I write down some combinations that I want to try. I find if I pre-plan it, it's less overwhelming when I'm doing it. So I'll just write out a few combinations that I want to try today, making sure there's like you don't need to overthink it. It's like, don't get too particular. Um, but just, you know, getting a few of those different things in there. I'm actually gonna plan that right now from what I got. Okay, this is my three combos I'm gonna try. I don't have, I haven't introduced eggs yet and I haven't got any fish. So this is my combos. Okay, let's do some prep. So at the same time while I'm boiling, I'm also gonna put the oven on to bake a little bit of pumpkin for her, like one of these. For the baby leg weaning pieces, obviously like remove the skin, I'll probably just do it after cooking. But I like to do them in like finger size so that she can easily grab them. Um, and then for the purees, I can just cook it with skin if I want. So there's a bit of nutrition in the skin and a little goes a long way so you don't actually need too much. I'm also going to bake, actually I might steam some carrot in like sticks for baby they're weaning too. Ooh, it's a red one. Look at that color. Bowie, do you want to try some? You know that dried dragon fruit you've been eating? This is non-dried. Fresh dragon fruit. Do you want to try some? You have a bite? Mm. You have a bite? I like that. Do you like it? I like that sort of thing. Yep, mm. take it with you. It's dragon fruit. What's that come from? The tree. Mm. Oh, wow. It comes from like a cactus, actually. Okay, so I won't need to cook that. It's obviously like a really good texture. Um, and I'll give her some of this hole to try, but obviously, like, look at the color of it. So the mess will be outrageous. So I'd save that for. A time when I can be bothered to deal with that. Let's put the pumpkin in the oven. This is my blender that I use to make all of my purees. It's um, an attachment piece for the Vitamix. So it just goes like that and blends. Really handy for blending small amounts and making purees. Love that. I am going to add some spinach because it's very, the dragon fruit's gonna like totally disguise it. And I might even add some yogurt too. Then we're also doing some apple for the next one. So I'm gonna cut up some apple. I'm going to cut it into chunks, but I wanna be able to like use some of this for her baby led weaning. I just have this container here, which as I'm gonna cook, make the purees and cook the ingredients, I'm also gonna put some cut up pieces in here. But apple has skin on it. So I think I'm gonna boil it with the skin and then remove the skin for her baby led weaning pieces. Remove the seeds, um, and then I'll, yeah, steam like that. Sorry, I keep saying steam. I'm gonna boil it, sorry, not steam. I don't have a steamer. Steaming's better than boiling, but it's all good. That pear is probably perfect for baby let weaning though, because it's very soft. So I also have these little plastic containers, which are good size little containers. My mum got me these, they're like plastic mini containers. They're like 75 mil each. Um, but these are handy for making purees into because they're just like a good little size for like per meal. I'll probably get like one to two days per one. 
Um, but yeah, I'll probably fill these. Might even have a little extra. I'm going to spoil some spinach as well. Just lightly till it like wilts up. It goes quite vibrant. And then take that off. And then I just like to blanch the greens in cold water straight away to stop them continuing to cook. Because obviously cooking them will remove some of the nutrition. Um, but I wouldn't be herbal or spinach, I don't think. Okay, I've got the dragon fruit. I need to add some pumpkin. I'm actually going to remove that skin just because it's quite fibrous and I don't want to load her up too much. Um, that's pumpkin. We just need some spinach. Okay, I almost forgot. To water down my purees, I like to use like some pumped milk. I haven't got any, so I've got my cordless press pump. Let's get that going. So my first blend with the dragon fruit is really runny because I forgot how much water dragon fruit holds. I'm to spoon this. So it's like probably slightly too drippy for her. So to thicken it up, I'm going to add some carrot and we're going to re-blend it again. I'm also pumping, but it's not going to need it because it's really runny without it. That's better. So consistency now. It's more of a puree. Now on top of my little containers, I like to write what I'm putting in there just so I can remember. Not that it really matters, but I just like to and then I can just scrub it off. I've got broccoli and then the rest of the broccoli that I've got in here I'm going to put in my little baby lead weaning container. So we're doing broccoli. We've got apple. I think I over the apple. It's very soft. Spinach. It's going to be a green one. And some of this. Alright. I'm going to pump a bit. I've kind of like lost a bit of supply. That's some. Let's see. It's like a little soup. The easier thing to do as well, instead of like writing the whole recipe on the lid, is just I've numbered them like one, two, and three. And then I can put a little two, and then I just keep this in my kitchen, like just on my bench to look at if you want to, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. And sometimes I might date them as well, but I kind of know when I did these things. So. And the other thing is if it's like too thick, when I'm feeding it to her, I can just add a little bit of water or breast milk or formula or whatever as I'm serving it. Number two. All right. Yogurt. Yeah, sharing. I've got one piece of apple left. Let's just chuck her in. And add some flax meal. Leave this out of it this time. This is number three, which has the blackberry in it, and it actually looks a bit too thick. I'm gonna add a bit more milk. So I've done a week of prep purees, and then I have a few days of finger foods. Probably get me through to the weekend. So that is a week of meal prep for Zimmy. I'm gonna take you guys along a few days this week and just show you how we give her her solids and just demo how she's going with that. And yeah, just sort of learning as we're going. Obviously I didn't do purees with Bowie, so I'm sort of just learning this as I'm going and I'm excited to see how she goes. Bowie's not a great eater. He's like, we did everything right. We did baby led weaning. Um, we had meals together, like I was one of those parents that started out very naive, like babies kind of will eat whatever you give them, like he would just sit there and smash broccoli, he loved this lentil bolognese I used to make him, um, and then slowly from about one year old he just started becoming a hard eater and a fussy eater, so I think some kids are just like naturally fussy eaters. Um, and you can do everything in your power. And it's probably one of the most frustrating parts of parenting because you can be doing everything right, but some kids are just fussy and just want an all beige diet. So yeah, food's been a bit of a challenge for me. So this stage of food for kids is fun because 
she's in like the trying everything stage. Um, but yeah, the toddler stuff is the hard part. So yeah, I'll take you guys along for a few days during this week and we can chat all things solids. I'm gonna take a quick break from today's video because I wanna thank today's video sponsor, Marley Spoon. You guys know we love and use Marley Spoon in our homes. One of the best things about Marley Spoon for us lately has been how much more cost effective it is. It's like 50% cheaper than eating takeaway or getting food out. And at the moment, we're really trying to be a bit more conscious with how we spend our money. We're currently renting plus building, so we're trying to really find ways that we can save money each week. And eating at home is one of those ways that you can easily save a lot of money. Plus the meals are all delivered to your door and a lot healthier too. If you guys want to try Marley Spoon and save some extra money, you can use my code as well. The code is Ellie Saves, and it'll get you up to $215 off your first six boxes. So if you haven't tried Marley Spoon, it's a great opportunity to try it, save even more. And you can see for yourselves if you like and enjoy using Marley Spoon in your homes. I'm quickly gonna cook this fast vegetarian pasta and show you guys the lunch that we're gonna have with Marley Spoon. It's ready in just 20 minutes, which is even faster than like an Uber Eats delivery could get here. I'm gonna set a timer. Let's see if it takes 20 minutes. Check it out, guys. Ready in under 20 minutes. Plus I cooked all of the pasta and got a little side snack for one of us to have for lunch one day. Or maybe for a toddler that will never eat that, but you know, only dream. But look at that, woohoo. So guys, don't forget you can try Marley Spoon in your home with my code. Details will be in the description box as well as a link if you want to check out Marley Spoon and get meals in under 20 minutes, which will also save you some money. How'd you go? Was it yummy? <laughs> Did you like your lunch? Mm -hmm. It was more of a play, wasn't it? Not a lot of eating? No. Cheeky girl. Do you want to go have a bath in the outdoor shower? Yeah. A warm bath? I think so. So it is Saturday morning, which is market day. Farmer's market day. So we're heading to, we always should go get coffee and sometimes some brekkie. And then I'm going to pick up some stuff to make Zimmy some food. I like getting it from there because there's lots of organic stuff and then there's Yes, we can hear you, Bowie. And they have a good variety of uh, different stuff to try, which is fun. She's just at her phase of just trying lots of new things. So we're gonna get some things for you to try. And you are in your winter woolies and tights. Stop it, it's too much yeah. thing. So I am prepping some food for Zimmy to have a little, like a, I guess lunch time. Bowie's gonna have some snacks before his nap. So I'm using our silicon teethers, which are really great for introducing new foods. Um, you add the food in here and then close it up. It's just like a safe way if you're a little bit nervous about doing the solids or like the shapes of things. I like it for berries because berries are a little bit more rounded and they're quite small, they're not long. So while she's just learning to eat, um, I put the berries inside here rather than her putting the whole thing in her mouth. Even though they're super soft, she's just learning. So I'd rather just 
use peace of mind and put them in these things and she also loves it. It makes it easier for her to hold because she can just hold it like this and then she can munch it. Um, but these are our wholesome store ones. We made them cute and aesthetic in I think it's six different colors. This is the lavender color. Maybe it's called lilac. And then once she gets through that, I've got another one to add. I've also got some cucumber for her. I've removed all the hard bit of the cucumber and it's just like this soft, mushy, cold bit, which might be nice for her gums. And then as I mentioned earlier in this video, we're doing mixed feeding, so we're doing some puree as well. I've got this puree that I defrosted out of the freezer. This blend is zucchini pear plus a bit of that bone marrow paste. Um, and I batch cook, batch cook and freeze lots of this. So this is stuff that I made on the 10th of April. So I've also boiled some broccoli. I wouldn't normally, I'd normally steam and do it like not super cooked because you want to get the nutrition from the broccoli. But I also like more importantly, this is for her to play with and practice eating. So I want it to be really soft so it's not a choking hazard. So I've boiled it really, really soft for her. Okay, this is Zimmy's little, little meal. We have some baby led weaning pieces, berries, and puree. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, you love this thing. I'm gonna take this berry away. Actually, I'm gonna put it in here. What you think, Ziminator? Oh, mm, you like this thing? It's a messy experience, isn't it, Zim? Nummy? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Bobby. <laughs> You're doing so well. The cup of daddy. Hey. 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 so that her feet can now touch the step here, which helps her. It's more comfortable when eating. Yeah. More comfy. Better positioning for you, honey. Ready? Ready? Whee! Whee! <laughs> there you are. Are you having fun? That's an easy way to clean you up. So this is the benefit of living in Australia where, well, on the Gold Coast Australia where it doesn't really get that cold. Well, winter hasn't fully hit yet, but it's still pretty warm in the day. And we are, what are we in? Almost May. So almost winter's in June, so a month out of winter. Um, and yeah, it's still really warm. Even our winters are not that cold. And this shower is a warm shower, so we can just make Nice warm pool for her. Oh gosh. But yeah, it's so nice to be able to just like chuck her in the pool and wash her off easily outside. So I have defrosted one of Zimmy's purees that I made and I'm gonna try with that. I also froze some berries so they can go off and I'm gonna put the frozen ones in here. And Zimmy's actually got a cold, so I feel like when you're feeling a bit sniffly and sick you're not really gonna have much of an appetite but maybe she'll feel like some cold berry as that defrosts it'll start to taste yummy so i like to do solids with her when she's not too tired and mid-morning i find otherwise we kind of just like slot it in wherever we can whatever fits in with our schedule with bowie and us he's at daycare today so it's a bit of a all attention on Zimmy Day. Uh, I'm gonna give her some cooked broccoli and piece, ooh, piece of pear. I'm gonna dip it in some chia seeds to help her grip it. Do we want her to try some dragon fruit today? Yeah. All right. I remember it like when she 
Yep. Whoa. Let's try dragon fruit. That is going to be interesting if she eats it when she does poop. Okay, so this is what she has today. We've got some baby led weaning things to play with, little icy pole, berries, and then her puree, which we spoon feed her. And then sometimes just like load the spoons and pass them to her, because that's still like baby led weaning in its like true sense is letting the baby lead the way and letting them take charge. So giving them loaded spoons of puree is also a form of baby led weaning. Oh, she's amazing. going for it. You knew it. Ooh, how's that <laughs> Do you like it? Mmm. Oh. Nummy. Good texture. Nice in. Little chia seeds in. Mm. Yum. Look you go. Oh, no, that's bad. So, please ignore the fact that my voice is terrible. <laughs> I have a cold and of course I get the sickest in the house because I'm 30 and that's what happens when I turn 30. Um, I'm having a little acai bowl for Brecky. This is just one of those like pre-made ones. These ones. Actually pretty yum. It's mid-morning so I'm going to prepare some food for Zimmy while she's asleep and then she can have some solids when she wakes up. So I have this custard apple, which I don't actually know the last time I cut one of these open. So I don't even know if it's going to be suitable. <laughs> oh. What do you reckon? I don't I've never run custard apple. This, this flesh here looks sweet. I think the brown stuff looks a bit gross. That one looks better, I think. We have some little foods for her to try. <laughs> and a little bit of puree too. <clears throat> That's little foods for her to try and puree for those who can't understand the voice. Oh, I can't go to break. Here you go. That's dragon fruit. Do try this? Try this? So I'm going to wrap up our solids video here. Just wanted to show you guys what we're doing differently this time. How Zimmy's going with it. It's a slow slog and once you start solids, you can't stop. And it's hard, isn't it? But she's having fun. And yeah, I'm quite enjoying it too. It's like a new, um, not challenge, but a new stage for us to um, be back at the start of solids. I feel like I really lost my motivation with like preparing meals and stuff with Bowie because he's so fussy and it's honestly like been one of the most challenging parts of parenthood for us because you know when you put all this work into preparing these things for them to eat and they won't eat it it's really hard and when you like initially set out with these expectations that your child will be really healthy and then they literally are like a beige only diet you feel like a bit of a failure but hopefully he's actually getting a bit better and hopefully um, he continues to just sort of grow out of it. Cross our fingers and hopefully you're a good eater. I'll see you guys in next week's video.